I want to go over a concept of making parts that are the same in one view or that are one thing in one view and completely different in another view. This is an example here of my uh, very first CAD challenge I've ever been given. Uh, and it was to make something that looks square in one direction, circular in another, and triangular in yet another. So this is just simply a play on views. And I want to make something like that uh, in this video. Uh, what sparked this was kind of an idea I've had of updating the logo that I have when I start my channel. And I thought, hey, what a better way to do that than to make a whole video out of it. So I'm going to go to the draft workbench and make sure I'm directly on the front view. Uh, you can't see it right now. If I change my view, you can see this little grid. So if I click this hash button, then it goes away. So on the front view, I'm going to go to shape string. I'm going to choose a font file here. I'm going to make that something like... 100 millimeters, and that's arbitrary. We can put the channel name here, resetter point, okay. And there's our shape string. Next thing that I want to do is go to the part workbench and extrude this. And I can extrude this to a size of something like 150 millimeters okay so there's a nice little extrusion next thing I want to do head into the sketcher and I'll choose oh, this nice little side plane to sketch on uh, I'm gonna wireframe my view and uh, by the orientation that I want and by the way that this view flipped I'm going to be sketch. Oh, I better use polyline, but I'm going to be sketching a backwards K so that it ends up the way that I want to. So this is the K that you know you always see in the beginning of my videos. And there we go. Now I can constrain the heck out of this. Let's start off with parallel, and we're going to make. A bunch of these lines parallel. Now let's go with perpendicular. I'll put that. I want to get rid of that relation and that relation. There we go. So a bit more like that. Now perpendicular. Okay, now that all those are perpendicular, I can add a little point right here. Let's go with the symmetric relation there. You go horizontal, H. I'm going to say E for equal here. Equal. Uh, again, E for equal here. And E for equal here. We're going to do H for horizontal over here. I'm going to do H for horizontal here, and that really shapes up that shape. Next thing, I can uh, edge import, grab this edge, comes in as a dot or a point, and I can merge those. And now uh, we should be left with only the need for a few other relations, or dimensions rather. We can say a nice 40 millimeters here, A for angle to set this at say 45 degrees. We have three degrees of freedom. I'll pull one of these guys, 15 millimeters. And I'll take these two and say E for equal. And then it just comes out to be what height do we want the K, shift V. So how about something nice like 135? And that's the K, so we're going to close that. Uh, let's go to a uh, isometric view, and then with the sketch highlighted and the part design, or part rather, not part design, I'm going to say something like 400 millimeters. We just want it to go past our text. Okay, and we go past the text. 
shading to as is. The next thing that I want to do, yeah, that's looking perfect, is only take material where these two parts intersect. And that is nicely named, if I highlight both of these bodies, as intersect. So we're going to delete anywhere where they don't intersect. And if you see from the front, we have the name of the channel. From the side, we have our logo. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Uh, let's go ahead and make this downloadable too. Uh, I want to probably make rendering this part of the video as well. I'm going to be doing that in Blender. I think it's 2.8 version, the new version. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm new to 2.8. So let's save and import to Blender.